greetings i want us to go through this number of database as a participant who has attended the management information systems module you are required to design a suitable database to register dppm participants name the database dppm participants plus your name and save it on the desktop so uh on the desktop i'm going to create a folder then i open that folder i create a new database program i call it dppm participants participants hyphen my personal my name Bernard. then i open it so i open it i enable content next uh, that we create a new table in design view name it d ppm participants so we create a table go to create table design and here we need to put all these fields here reg number p name gender uh, we have reg number p name gender next we need uh, our status we need uh, dob we also need address and tuition so once we are done with this we can now assign the data type and the size so reg number will be font size 12 i mean size 12 so it can be short text with 12 here field size 12 then p name will be 20 so you click here choose the data type short text will be 20 gender gender will be size one and look up wizard so here size one then we choose look up wizard i will type in the values i want next where we have a male or female we next finish next we shall have uh our status 16 look up wizard so this one will be 16 and we need to have it in lookup wizard type in the values you want next where we shall have residential or non-residential next finish next we have for date of birth this is the medium date so dob we choose date stroke time and here under format we can choose medium date the next address address will be 10 size and lookup wizard so here we choose lookup wizard type in the values that we want we have districts like here Mbalala Lila Suroti Mbale Mbalala Lila Suroti Mbale Kampala Iganga I think those are the ones and of Shane yeah this is Shane We click next finish size is supposed to be 10 then we can put the primary key here tuition can be number we have put the primary key on reg number 
we can save it as dppm participants we click ok now we can click view data sheet view or we close here and we check out our table so this is our table with the detail with the data types and the field names so at this point we are told to create a columnar form name it dppm evening participants data entry form so we can create a form we take all fields next columnar we click next so this is supposed to be called dppm evening evening participants evening participants data entry form we click finish so this is our form where we are supposed to enter this data in the table so we start with 11 dppm 001 11 slash d ppm slash 001 then this one is agawa charles and uh, gender you choose from here male residential status residential dob 12 august 1992 12 august 1992 address mbarala 800 paid mbarala paid 800 thousand so here you click next you type the next person after entering everything in our form all the details are there we have our form and the data goes directly into the table so going to the question they are asking us to create a query with all the fields to reflect the new tuition fees given that the tuition was increased by 22 percent given that the tuition was increased by 22 percent so we create a query you can use query wizard or query design if i use query wizard i click ok i take all fields i click next so here i'm going to call it i can call it a new tuition new tuition fees modify table design i finish so here i'm going to add a new field here i go to builder so this is the 122 because we are increasing divide by 100 times the tuition here so i click ok here you get a new field i can call it new tuition then i run the query so this is the field for nutrition that was increased 800 increased to this so save changes close your query next using using all the fields create a query to display male participants whose address is Kampara. so we create i can use query wizard or query design so this time let me try query design so i add the fields here i put them here then i come to address i need kampala and then gender i need male like that male kampala i run so these are this is a male from kampala is one so we can save this as male participants from kampala male participants from Kampala we click OK we close the query next we are looking at a create a report based on DPM participants table so we are creating a report 
report wizard create report wizard from dppm participants that is the table next next and they are telling us that this report should be we need to group the report on the residential status so do you want to add grouping options residential status take it after that sort the data of participants in descending order so we click next sort the names of participants in descending that is it so after that we click next next we can finish so this is our report we can now work on these fields that have hash hash we expand them so from this we can close here it takes us in the design view we can highlight this maybe take it a bit here we reduce we bring pd name behind there reg number we can also bring it behind and expand it somehow we bring gender around here it is male female we bring dob somewhere there we can bring address can be reduced a bit then we can bring tuition can bring it behind a bit and expand so save changes click view report view here is our report well modified we close but they were saying that we call it pd p dppm class details so i can right click i rename i call it pdppm class details enter so the name has been provided here next create a switchboard command menu called dppm evening participants having three items one data entry to open dppm participants data entry form in add mode report one to open report pdpm class details and quit to exit the database so here to put the the switchboard we have to first put it around the menu here here on quick access so you can click here to customize quick access toolbar then you go to more commands then here under popular commands click and choose all commands and after getting all commands here you are going to look for switchboard manager so go up to s switchboard so we want sw switchboard here click on it add here it goes then you click ok and this is the one we have put switchboard manager so click on it and you say switchboard manager was unable to find a valid switchboard in database would you like to create one yes i want to create it and then here we are going to edit this this one we give it a name dppm evening participants dppm evening participants so you can click on close so this is the one now we are going to still edit it so this one having made it like that so we need to add all the details here so you click on new and now this one is where we are going to add these ones data entry so we write data entry so with data entry this one is supposed to open the form in add mode so here we are going to command this one should open form in add mode and which form the evening participants data entry form we click ok we are going to add another one which is called report one to open 
the report details so we click new command is called report one what is its command to open report and the report is called dppm class details click ok another one is going to be called quit to quit the database quit so that your command is to exit application you click ok close close so now the switchboard is here having created this switchboard for it when i click data entry it opens the form so that i'm able to add the details in the form then next report it opens this report in view in print preview then quit it closes the application that is it all that you needed to know with this very application thank you